Is it a mantis? Is it a lace wing? Is it a fly? Let's find out together. Welcome back to Bug of the Week Part 30, brought to you by Little Dudes Insect Academy. As always, if you are new here, consider subscribing, dropping a like down below, leaving a comment about your favorite part of this episode. But if you weren't aware already, Little Dudes Insect Academy is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and we do this completely off of donations. So if you are interested in growing the entomology community and spreading the word about bugs to all ages, definitely head down to the comments, the description down below, and there will be a link to donate there if you're interested in helping our cause. But without further ado, let's just jump right into this episode. This is the family of Mantispidae, also known as mantis flies or mantid lace wings. There are an estimated 400 species of mantis fly worldwide, and they can be found in the tropical and subtropical regions of every continent, except the Arctic countries, of course. And as is a running theme with this show, the mantis fly is actually not a fly at all. Like I said, it is within the family of Mantispidae. So yet another reason as to why the English common names of bugs really suck, because they're never accurate. These insects also exist within the order of Neuroptera, which may sound familiar to you as it is also the order that lace wings are in. And so in case you missed my episode on lace wings, I will leave that video up here for you all to check out. You can go and click on that. It'll take you to that episode. After you're done with this episode, definitely go check out the one on lace wings as lace wings and mantis flies are very similar in a lot of ways. Mantis flies are actually quite small in size, ranging between 0.2 and 1.8 inches long. And so they're actually pretty small bugs, similar to the lacewing in size. So just looking at these two photos side by side, you can certainly see many similarities between the mantis fly and the lacewing. They have very similar eyes, heads, and veined wings. Now what sets these insects apart is their front raptorial legs, which is where they have earned their name, as the praying mantis has a very similar appendage on the front of their bodies. Now like the praying mantis, mantis flies also use their front legs for catching their prey, and they feed on a myriad of small insects, catching them and eating them live, just like a praying mantis. Mantis flies also often mimic other insects, such as this one, which mimics a hornet or a wasp, in order to deter predators. Now, these insects also have a pair of very powerful compound eyes, simple eyes, and a set of antennae. They're also equipped with two pairs of long, veined wings, just like the lace wing. Now, much like the lace wing, uh, the mantis fly actually also lay their eggs on long silk stalks, just like the lace wing that I talked about in the in that episode. Um, they lay their eggs on these long silk stalks on leaves. Now, as interesting as these insects look, the most interesting thing about them is their larval form. The larval forms of these insects are actually parasites, meaning that they feed off of a host animal, and so. When the eggs actually hatch, these larvae are actually quite agile, and they have they have legs and mouth parts. They're pretty much their own insect. And so once the larva hatches, they begin their search for a female spider, actually. And so once they find a female spider, they lodge themselves onto the female, and but they, but they don't actually feed on her. Um, once the female spider begins constructing her egg sac, uh, the larva sneaks its way into the egg sac right before the spider closes it up. And then the larva feeds on the developing spider eggs. And when the baby spiders would hatch, an adult mantis fly emerges instead. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys this kind of little known family of insects, the mantis fly. They're super interesting. Um, they, comes in, they come in all colors, all shapes and sizes. But they're super unique, super weird looking. I didn't know about them until recently. So the research I did for this episode was really fun because I didn't really know much about them. Um, super cool little insects and kind of not as well known. I think they need some attention because they're really unique and really cool looking. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, go down, leave a like, subscribe, like I said earlier. Leave a comment about your favorite fact about the mantis fly. Without further ado, I will see you all next week, but until then, keep on bugging.